Hello everyone, welcome to my another car tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how did I fix up my car cigarette lighter, uh, which is not working at the moment. So I'm using a Toyota Yaris 2009 model. So what's going on in here? The cigarette lighter is not working properly. So let me show you. So I'm using a, a Bluetooth transmitter and a car charger. So as you can see, if I'm plug in, it's not working at all. There's no numbers or nothing. But the ring around this one is light up. So uh, there could be two issue in there. If the ring is light up, it's main is they getting the electric here, but it's not working. So could be the fuse. One fuse should be underneath that one. And one fuse should be behind the gloves box uh, on the passenger side. Uh, there's a fuse box in there we need to check either the fuse in there is gone either the fuse uh, underneath the cigarette lighter that must be gone or maybe we have to change the whole unit maybe this one is not properly fitting in its lows and it's no uh, power on in there so uh, let me show you first of all we are going to test it out the fuse in there uh, in a glove box i already bought a small uh, fuses in there just in case the one of uh, one of them is gone so we can replace them so here we are on uh, passenger side as you can see there is a cover in there you have to take this cover out there's a few notches in there just like that there's a uh, three notches in there and it's holding the cover in there so you have to take this cover out and you can see there is a fuse box in there just like that as you can see there so we have to take the cover out so let me show you again there's a fuses there as you can see in the box so we have to find out which fuse is going in there so the signal lighter is this one is number 23 15 amp so let me take out this screw this fuse i actually need a nose plier or something so i can take it out so i need to pause the video for a second so guys i just took the fuse out and it's is gone is broken inside you can see and I actually when I was pulling I broke the leg as well in there so I'm not sure I can able to replace the other one in there so I'm going to try anyway so we have the 15 amp fuse in there so we're going to replace that one it's quite cheap one pound 50 pence for the four of them so I'm going to change this one so that was a 15 so guys i have the replaced the fuse but as you can see there's a tiny bit difference these fuse are different i thought this one is broken when i take out but this is the different size so i did replace that similar 15 in 15 arm fuse in there and let's see if this working otherwise we need a new fuse just a similar like that so i'm going to test it out so guys this one was a different fuses this one was a bigger one this one was micro so we was needing a micro one to replace 15 amp so i got a different micro fuses from halford this is a pack of two two for 239 so this one will use somewhere else so i'm going to open up this one and going to replace and check up if that cigarette lighter start working with replacing the fuse so guys we have replaced a micro fuse in there and now, now test it out it is the start working so this is still not working for some reason so this time the second step is to rep so guys i have changed the power socket in here and uh, because this one was not working uh, I have to show you I bought one of these from eBay and prices for this one is around six pound and uh, this one was slightly different than original stock one as let me show you because as you can see the difference on that one this one is for the new one cigarette lighter and this one for the old one so this bit is a bit wider than the original stock one so what I have done is let me show you 
if you open up this one just put your hand there and this will come out there's a few clips underneath in there you just have to slightly put pressure in there and it will come out just like that so I have changed already as you can see in there uh, let me take the rubber bit out so old one have a light connector outside just attach like that but the newer one already have a light in there but the connector are different this one is a bit smaller and this one is a bit wider so I leave the light just like that because this one take a smaller bits in there just like that one so I did not connect this wire uh, for the light uh, but the, everything is working fine let me show you uh, see the inside there's a two prongs in there and uh, that was not working that was keep connecting with the outer bit as you can see these one just like that I just take it out from the old one so keep blowing up the fuse in there even uh, we replaced the 15 amp uh, fuse and it was still not working so I have to replace that one and uh, let me show you the original stock one have already fuse underneath as I mentioned earlier on in a video so if if everything okay this fuse in blown so what you can do is you make need a wee bit of wire just to make a, like a jump so you can uh, use that one if you don't want to buy and replace the other one so this one is uh, being fitted with a force in there as you can see there's a few marks in there because uh, this one was wider than the or original original one so easy to put it back when you replace it down if the fuse is okay and this one not working so you need to replace this one uh, power socket in there so easy to put it back two clips in there just press a little bit like that uh, I will come back uh, put it back just like that and I'll show you as well I have to put that rubber back in there but let me show you first so I'm using this one charger and Bluetooth device so let me connect that one with my phone and show you this is working now so as you can see this one getting a power now and uh, there's a LED light on on the cable as well let me connect my phone with that one so as you can see my phone is charging now this is charging there so this is how you change if his uh, fuse is okay and is keep blowing up so it's definitely some problem with the with with the socket in here so you have to replace with the newer one uh, you can buy from ebay this uh, price is between six to seven eight pound uh, it's not quite expensive in there is it that's a normal price for that one I tried to buy from the local shop but I couldn't figure out but you can buy from the Halford as well they do have it but the price are different I think is more than 12 pound in there so cheaper to buy on uh, eBay and uh, it will work for you so if you like my video of replacing fuse and the power outlet socket in uh, Toyota Yaris 2009 please leave a like and subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new if you like this video if you find this video useful to you and help you out please leave a like and leave your comment in there i highly appreciate your support to my youtube channel and i will see you in next video i bring you a new tutorial for you how to fix thank you very much for watching i will see you next video